So I'd like to make another video for these types of problems just to point out how the language can change very subtly but you know change the entire answer in some cases. So the effort of the teacher is influenced by the effort of the student in a manner symbolized by the letter N, blah, blah, blah. Again, we're looking for a cause. We're looking for an effect. So they say the effort of the teacher. So just like that, we can say that's got to be one of, you know, either the cause or the effect. Um, then they say is influenced by the effort of the student. So the effort of the student has got to be either the cause or the effect. So then the language in between is the important piece I want to highlight. So we have influenced by. So in one of the last problems, we saw that it's influences. But in this case, it's influenced by the effort of the student. So what that does is almost flip what you have going on here to say that the effort of the student is what's influencing the effort of the teacher. So the effort of the teacher is influenced by the effort of the student. So now this becomes the cause. And the effort of the teacher becomes the, I almost wrote effort, uh, pretty close. The effort of the teacher is the effect. So the cause uh, is the effort of the student. So we're looking for effort of the student inside the parentheses. So not here, not here. That's looking good. That's looking good. So then we want the effect or the thing on the opposite side of the uh, equation to be the effort of the teacher. So this does not have it. This does bring out our eraser. That is the correct answer. So always pay attention to the language connecting the two causes and effects.